you comrades and welcome back to From the Depths with me Richie. Just um, in the middle of this Scarlet Dawn War and I've actually got a unit to intercept me so I'm going to have to deal with them. They are dealing with a galaxy, a fusion and a flare. And I think what I'm going to do is put all my ships up close if I can. Even though I think it's only going to be the Justice that's fighting. Nope, wrong one. Back to there, and they'll quickly put wipe out that fleet, and then we can actually get on with the main point of this episode, the main campaign. And we'll see how long it lasts against us. Not very long, looking at the chunk of the chunks that are flying out. Well, we've got all these four missiles coming in now. I think what I'm going to do, well, the main focus of this episode is going to be rush on the Scarlet Dawn headquarters to not let out of the war permanently. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm not going to show every single battle on the way there since I think for the most part they're fairly repetitive and well once you've seen the justice in action against them it's a um, pretty usually a pretty short fight. Unfortunately in the last episode I tried attacking with other units but didn't quite turn out the way I intended in that I completely got my ass kicked. So for the books of this episode, straight rush to the Scarlet Dawn headquarters and cutting out some repetitive battles along the way. Just so we can try and keep it well, try and keep it interesting really. It does get a bit repetitive and boring for me doing these battles and probably not the best term for yourselves watching it either. But um at any rate we'll to let this battle play out in full and then I'll begin the the big push. Obviously if something interesting happens during those battles I'll just showcase it. But the main focus is going to be A, Scotland headquarters and then B, a resource zone which is just near to, near to it. I think there's actually a couple near to it if I remember right. Which should make it um, somewhat profitable. And obviously once they're out of the way we need to decide where we're going next after that. I'm thinking of maybe going for the Grey Talons. Is it the Grey Talons? Not sure. I've never actually fought them before, so I'm interested to test some metal against some a new opponent that I haven't faced before. The other option is I can go for the um, Scarlet, not Scarlet, Scarlet Dawn. That's the ones we're doing now. I can go for the Twin Guard. Obviously, if we go for them, that'll bring in the um, Steel. Does it Steel Striders? Yeah, it'll bring them into a war if we go for the Twin Guard. And vice versa, if I go after the Steel Striders, the Twin Guard will get involved with me. Now, ideally, what I want to do is take out the, the Great Talons and then then just have a, a two on one war as opposed to a three on one war. At any rate, let's just clobber these and then we'll, we'll um, start making progress and headway. I think since you've seen me fight these units before, there's nothing to show all of it. It's, it's taking its time unfortunately. And beautiful he takes a barrage there and that should that should, should kill him. And just have to excuse him the car horns in the background. I wonder what happened if I took manual control of these guns. I feel like I could actually finish them quicker. Yeah, manual control for the whole way. And that's him out of the fight. So it's just his little um, little drone aircraft to take out and then, then we'll get on with a big push. There you horrible little Scarlet Dawn. Rest in pieces. And there's still another one, is there? Oh, that's the same one, isn't it? It's just disintegrating, taking its time. They take their time to break apart. Okay, into the next fight, we're up against Andromeda, Quasar, Darkstar, and a quasar. And of course. 
obviously he's airborne, isn't he? Why wouldn't he be? Thankfully he's got a swarm of missiles too. I should probably get rid of him. And now his engines are off. He's going to take in the brunt of the missiles there. Beautiful. And just what nothing to do but watch him to drop into the water and die. Rest in pieces. Didn't slight bit of light there, but now that's out of the way. Watch him get quickly vaporized. Nice. Always good to see bits of him going flying off. His laser anti missile system looks pretty pretty mean though. I do like that. I'm not sure if we fought um, the Andromeda in a previous episode or not. I probably have, but I just can't recall it. At any rate, you can see it now facing off against my force. My force. And again, she shares the same fate that the last one befell. I think I got a couple of my laser cannons with the wave front to just run them, which means I should still be able to do normal damage. But damn, look at all that heavy armor. I haven't realized this, this breeze was caked in it. But at any rate, it's not done him any good. All it means is he just sinks faster. And now we'll see who's the next one to spawn him. Once he finishes dying, of it, obviously. And it's another quasar. Finally, once his engines are out of action, laser does a quick job of finishing him off. Managed to do a little more tweaking on the laser accuracy, actually. It's pretty good against once he actually hits, but it, against really fast ones, he can struggle a bit to get a bead on him. I think I'll just um, spend a little bit after this battle just to have a little play around with it. I need to just make it super sensitive or something. I just hope it doesn't cause too much lag. Might as well do it now I'm thinking about it. Mm, don't like crap, it's a big one. I don't know, that's what she said. Hopefully the bigger he is, maybe the easier it is to hit him. And yep, I think the laser is probably open up the entire yep. Up the entire section of him, and it's just left to the missiles just to find a way in there and start wrecking his internals. But since he stopped shooting, it's obvious, it's pretty obvious that he's dead now. GG, and on to the next tile, it's blazing a path right through their territory. Um, yeah, the mobile fleet's probably gonna crash straight into this tile here. Yeah, I think what I'm better off doing is just moving him out of the way. The forward fleet can sustain moving itself, up. so I'm not too worried about that. We can fight our way out of it on the way back. And let's see what we're facing. Hmm, that's interesting. A couple that's not that turn look like they've got slight, slight, slight damage to them. I think we've fought all these before, so I'm just going to skip through this one. 
Okay, I figured out why my detection system was a little bit wonky. I had the automatic detection on from when I was messing around in the designer, and that's why it was wasn't as accurate. However, now I've turned the auto detection system off, um, and let Liz is now a bit more accurate. Yeah, go figure with that one. I can't get my head around that. How they're more accurate when it's got 100 percent a day. We don't question it. We just enjoy watching the carnage from it. And yeah, you can see how much of an improvement it is. They're, they're being a lot more accurate now. Okay, while the um, Justice and the Deliverance are refueling, that mobile fleet did actually reinforce this square. So we are going to have to fight them on the way out. Hopefully they shouldn't take too long refueling them. Because I really want to press on with the war if I can. We've got a war to win, damn it. Unfortunately, fuel is, in a, is a necessary evil along the way. And, yep, I think he just spawned another one. Which means we can't really afford to wait around. Let's push onwards. And that's a fast one. What's the, what are we up against here? Up again, stay Scarlet Scythe, a Fission, a Wyvern, a Quasar. And there's another one down there, a Wyvern. Yep, I think we've seen all these before, so I'll just fast forward through this one. I'll say one thing about that campaign, there is quite a lot of variety in who you fight. Certainly each faction does seem very have a very unique unique sort of style design. Sort of um, modus operandi as well. Unfortunately the downside is there is usually there's an awful lot of territories in between usually to take them all out. Which I suppose is kind of the point of it, I guess. <laughs> Beautiful, Yogg didn't even get a chance to take off. Just a case of straight in there with the lasers to finish him off. And, yep, I think he's probably AI. Yeah, no, no, he's not AI dead. We've still got the lasers firing at him. I think he is trying to push desperately to try and get airborne. I'm not going to give him any such chances. I wonder if I've got enough torpedoes on him. I need to add even more onto it. Damn. Completely gutted him. I thought it was a warp drive then, but no, it's just these advanced cannon um, um, shell thing imaging. I yeah, know, I'll stop getting too technical. And the next one makes him. Which I believe is a Wyvern. Yep, that's a Wyvern. And I think that's the last of this uh, little tiles sort of defenders. Is that it? Yep, that's it. And just a, a minute too soon as well. Must really, fuel issues are really starting to bite home now. Yeah, we're nearly out of fuel again. That's from with about 200,000 fuel. Or was it 100,000? Yeah, I think it was from 100,000 down to that, which of course isn't bad. But it looks like we're still getting refueled from somewhere, possibly from... Yeah, from the deliverance. Yep, yeah, victory is within our sight. Okay, I think it's time for a bit of a gamble here. I'm going to send the Aurora into battle on its own here. The advantage of the Aurora is it doesn't use fuel, it just uses the boilers. So if we pull this off, we'll have got rid of these tiles defenders and it'll be a straight run at the headquarters. If this screws up, well, it'll make for interesting viewing anyway. So what are we up against? A fusion, a quasar, and a weapon. So. Now I've got some glory, balls to the wall. Just turn off the resources tab since we don't need that anymore. Hopefully we can this thing can finish him off. It's taking a bit of damage. 
Is he actually doing any return? I think he is, yes. You can just see pieces of the enemies just coming off. And I hate it when they go behind, try and go behind me. Just a bit of a sharp turning so we can keep the guns bearing on him. Let's have a look what damage is caused. Superficial. Yep, and keep going. And I think he's in the water and not moving. Let's just check the map quickly and see how we're doing. No, he is still moving. He's 86% against my 98%. Yep, I think we're still going in with a good chance for this one. I can just stop him getting on, getting behind me. That's probably the weakness of this craft. It's got no rear-facing guns. Okay, I think the only alternative is to get hard, do a harder pull. Now the gun, guns can swing around quickly enough. Which, to be fair, the turn rate isn't totally bad. Yep, get them, get them firing on this side now. I'll try and match the paces with them. The shells are using the, um, you can just see the frag shells, which means that when they hit the shield, the fragments go off into the hole. And I think we've killed him. Don't think perhaps think we can get over there quickly enough to claim him as a as a prize. The next thing to do is to swing around to port so we can get the get good bearing on the next ships that are gonna be coming in. That's not a bad thing. We're always doing better than I thought it would actually. If it does well enough we can add um we can add um this this battle to its campaign on us. And that way they've fought on and pretty much show all major fronts aside from the white flays and deep water guard. And I don't like it when I start seeing chunks coming off them quite often like that. Let's see how we're doing health wise. 99 against 98. So technically we are we are still winning. It's not it's not over yet. I just need to get more of these um hitting now. I don't know what I'll do, I'll boost the accuracy of my my shots. Let's see what it's at in a minute. Yep, no way we should be should be that high. I can't believe they were that high. Those um, are basically the adjusters for how often it, if I understand how often it does a check of a thing about speed and range. I've set it, set it low, it means it'll have more work for the computer, my computer to do, but it also means shots should be a lot more accurate. And please take out that cram shell, yep, beautiful. Looks like my shields are bouncing off his shots nicely. And thankfully, I think my boiler should be up to full speed now. Let's just check it. Yep, more or less at full capacity now. All I need to do now is finish off that one, and then the little wyvern, and then that's a nice victory for the Aurora. Done surprisingly better than I expected. Yeah, no, that's it. I'm repeating myself for you. And I think what I'll do is I'll probably put the justice up against the Scarlet Dawn headquarters. Well, last time I played this on the campaign I did it with the Deliverance. Now I want to do it with the just something a bit different. I'm thinking it's probably going to be overkill. I don't think the Scarlet Dawn headquarters are that tough actually from what I remember. Of course this could end terribly but I'll go in there being op naively optimistic. Let's do a little bit of a close-up look of the ship. And believe it or not, you can actually walk inside this ship as well from front to stern. Which I'll just try and do now if I can find. Find somewhere in the front, yeah. There we go. Got me to bow this ship. Through to the um, office, through to the cinema, or lounge bar, whatever you want to call it. Main gun number one. 
Number two. Number three. And the rear compartment where all the laser defenses with the boilers are. Batteries and of course the battle bridge where my commander rests. Safe out of the um out of the fray there. And yeah, that ship I showed in the um in the front of the in the opposite lounge strip cinema. Is actually the Rodney or is it or is it Nelson? Which is kind of what this ship was based off. There's some resemblance and some differences. And now no, he's out of the way, it's just the little one now. Which I think it will I think it'll be too much of a challenge. But I think he's spawned in now. So we'll swing around and catch him. And capture him in the act and try and fin try and finish him off without taking too much damage. Let's zoom in on him and see how he's doing. Got the AI to combat. Yep, those missiles doing a nice job. Yeah, I think missile missile spamming's a bit cheap, but it's also a very effective tactic as well. And nice, we've got a little bit of problems with the accuracy because obviously he's falling out the sky. But yep, yeah, when they do hit, they do do the job. Get do the job of trashing us all rather nicely. So yep, yeah, victory for the Aurora and for the forces of communism. And it seems the enemies have decided to come swarm me. But what I'll do, I think we've got just enough time to get the justice into action. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll fuel out the um, deliverance. No, all the fuel out deliverance. Yep. And all the fuel into the justice. Oh, what the hell? Yep, so I think what we'll do let's end this war once and for all. We've got the Scarlet Dawn fleet, the imaginatively named Scarlet Dawn, which costs an absolute bomb of resources, which most of those I think are down to RTGs. And in the way is a quasar, a fission, and a fusion. So last battle for Scarlet Dawn begins. Well, the last battle for their headquarters anyway. Once that's down and out of the way, they won't be able to build anything, so... It'll be pretty much the end for their empire. Let's do it. Listening. Derp. And of course, I'm bringing the Aurora to aren't I? Oh well, what I can do, I can get him to soften him up. I'm not sure if he'll win or not. But either way, he'll be able to do a bit of damage to them. You never know, he might even win this game. Yeah? There's only one way we'll find out. If he does win against all of them, this will be its finest hour. And it is their headquarters that's spawning in. Oh crap. Is he actually going to space or not? No, he's not going to space, thankfully. Oh, well, what I'll do, try and close the distance with him quickly. Yep. This, um, this isn't what I had in mind. Since we're only at 98% and you now he's warped in a bit closer, that might shift the odds a bit. I think the warp drive's a bit of an a bit of an oddity really. I'm not I'm not really sure what the how much use it is. I mean if you're using energy based weapons like lasers and it's kind of competing with those for charge. So if you're using particle cannons you might as well not bother. 
I could see the advantage of sort of jumping around, but is it enough of an advantage for them? The kind of cost it is. Questions and answers. Let me know below in the comments if you've had um, played around with warp engines and had a great success with it. I've done some messing around with it, but I've not had um, overwhelming success with it really. Maybe I'm just using them wrong, I don't know. And let's see how he's. That's. He bots it too, he's right, whopping right in front of me. 99% against my 96%. I'm not giving up without a fight though, that's for damn sure. And we're seeing him going into the water. Lost his engines. If so, this looks like the Aurora's finest hour. Yep, I believe his engines are, mess are screwed. The fact that he's warping so fast means his power's winning low on power. I'm not sure if he's actually doing damage when we're punching through with these. When he's got his warp bubble up. 88%, I think we're gonna I think we're gonna win this one actually. I wasn't expecting to win and set not against um against their headquarters. I'll be darned. Looks like we've lost one turret, but the other no, the other two aren't looking too clever. Middle one's still okay. Still got the missiles and the torpedoes as well. And the front turret is back in action now. Yep, I think we mm. I think we might actually win this one. I'm not sure how the battle with the escorting units will do, but, but at least this one I think we've won. Just need to get in a bit could do with getting in a bit closer if we can. Like as a sitting duck now, aside from the occasional short jump that he seems to be trying to do but not succeeding at. So at this range, we can't, got the advanced cannon just rip straight through him. And you could just see underneath the trail of debris there. Another attempt at warp, but he's probably struggling with engine power now. I think the only thing they'd. I think the only thing that they deserve of us is our contempt. And they shall receive it. Okay, and let's see with the map how we're doing. 62% versus... I'm at full strength. Yeah, yippee ki -yay. And I think he is dead now. And if so, this was a this was a great victory for the Aurora. Surpassed my expectations in some cases and not lived up to it in others. No oh dame. I count that as a good worthy victory for it. And yep, there he goes, his headquarters in the distance. And that there go with it. That was the last challenge for the um last major challenge for my empire. Message to display title. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I think something's missing there. With the enormous wreck of the ancient starships smouldering in the water, the plague that has troubled Nita for over a century is finally over. Any survivors of your wrath have scattered to the wind, and those that aren't caught by your troops will soon succumb to the hostile environment. Whether you were a liberator who has finally freed the land from an alien incursion, or a psychopath who has committed genocide on an entire species is irrelevant. Um, I think probably the latter, actually. All you know that is that there is only room for one planetary conqueror in this world. Damn right there is. And it's going to be me. So I think what I'll do, I'll pull the Aurora out of battle and let the justice in.
So we really should tell these guys that the jig's up. But hey, we'll finish him off just because we can. Yep, yeah, that's accuracy improvements done a great deal of good work from my ship. It's um, certainly doing a lot more, a lot better with the lasers now. I've just tweaked it a little bit. And of course now I say that it starts missing in mass. No, there we go. That's better. Oh shit, nearly chopped him in half there. That's what you get for running away. Of course, I was coming to fight me doesn't end any better, but at least he dies with dignity. Come on, missiles, get him. Yep, oh, that's beautiful. The MP should be passing through his hole and messing up his AI components. Mm, yep, he lost a lot of speed there after those hit. Because he's shredded quite a bit inside of him. And hopefully this volley of missiles should be the ones that finish him off for good. And yep, I think that is the one. that I think I'm all out of time for this episode that's been the end of the Scarlet Dawn headquarters the only thing I need to do now is capture that resource zone and capture that as well since I never say no to resources and then it's just a case of fighting a way back out maybe mopping up um, some Scarlet Dawn fleets along the way and then it's time to decide who to attack next whether to go for these two together or to fight the Grey Talons I think it probably will be the Grey Talons, actually. But anyway, that's going to be in a future episode, so in the meantime, thanks for watching. Like, favourites, comment, subscribe, you're all welcome. And I'll be seeing you in the next episode.